Hey guys, Bryce Edwards here. So I'm going to give you a quick intro into the Spark trading platform. Okay, and Spark is an amazing piece of software for short-term traders. Uh, so it's really easy to use and it's also highly customizable to your own trading style. Uh, so we're going to kick off with a couple of basics and the best place to start uh, is probably down here at the help icon. Okay. Um, so this gives you, uh, I guess, all your shortcuts. And the first group of shortcuts that we're going to look at are the stock-specific hotkeys, uh, which are these ones over here. Uh, so we're going to kick off with uh, the depth. Uh, so if you just hit D uh, on any one of these windows at the back here, um, you'll get the market depth. All right, and you get this amazing graphic representation of the market depth or the order book. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail just here because this particular feature uh, probably requires a whole five minute video just to detail all the functions. Uh, and I'm going to allocate, you know, five minutes for a separate video in the next couple of weeks. Um, suffice to say that um, this window is basically the backbone of my trading strategy. Um, and you can do all sorts of funky things here um, with the replay. So this is what it looks like. Um, you know, while the market's open, this is actually played in, in fast forward. Um, but I spend most of my time trading just looking at the order book. Um, so it's a, a really handy function to have. Um, so that's the depth window. Um, the next hotkey that we have is uh, charts. So you just hit uh, the letter C on the window and you get your charts. And uh, these are fully customizable, so that's actually a one-minute chart intraday, and I've got the VWAP um, indicator just there. You can actually customize by right-clicking any of these windows. You can customize all your own charting or, or anything related to that window. Um, so, you know, you've got VWAP, various indicators, volume, uh, the period. Uh, and what you then do is save um, your favorites uh, I've saved them over here to the toolbar, so we can drag and drop a daily. That's what Northern Star looks like on the daily or the weekly, um, the hourly, and then I've got anything under an hour. I've just got in uh, in black and white, just so I know what I'm looking at. Um, so that's the chart uh, function, and then we'll go back and have a look at uh, T. So we hit T, and that just gives us a trade list. Uh, so that's the time and sales, or the tape, as some might call it. And Spark also designates uh, the crosses and different types of crosses as well. You can see that that was a, a portfolio special crossing. Um, so nothing too exciting with the, the trade list. Uh, options I don't really use, but if we have a look at A, so we'll hit uh, A for company announcements. Uh, and this is actually quite handy um, because it shows you all sorts of stats on the day of the announcement. Right, so you can see the uh, the close price on the day is over here, and you can also see the percentage move on that day. So you can tell, you know, what announcements really move the market. In particular, this recent June production figure from um, from Northern Star was was you know, really positive. Um, you know, the stock stacked on 14%. You can see a huge increase in volume here. Um, so that's quite handy. Um, you also note that some of the announcements are pink, and that actually designates that it was a market-sensitive announcement. All right, so on any of these announcements, you just uh, click on the announcement, and Spark launches the file as a uh, as a PDF file, and then you can resize it. Um, you know, scroll up and down. Um, we'll have a look at something else: the June production update, and you can scroll up and down. So it's quite a good feature with the announcements there. Uh, and the next um, one that we've got left, uh, oh yeah, we can have a look at the Google function. So this is quite handy. If you just hit G, um, hit the G, and Spark will actually pull all related news articles about the company from the web. Um, so if you want to read um, the article, all you do is just click on the headline here, and that actually launches um, the article in a, in a separate browser. And you can see, obviously, it's picked up Northern Star Resources there. Um, so we'll get rid of that. Um, and the reason that the Google function is quite handy is that I've actually had times where, um, you know, a stock is up a lot on large volume. 
And say, for instance, there's no announcements and you're thinking, you know, why is this stock moving? You might find that there's something in the, in the media, um, some sort of speculation, maybe it's takeover speculation that's really moving the stock. So it just keeps you across, um, you know, various news articles, which is quite handy. And the last one that we're going to look at uh, is P uh, for company profile. All right, so hit the letter P. And that gives you the, the company profile, which is actually pulled from Morningstar Research. Uh, so you can see here a description of uh, Northern Star's operations. You can see um, you know, various projects that they're running, market cap sector, etc. And you've got also um, all sorts of financial metrics down the bottom here, which is quite handy. Um, so that's a quick overview of the single stock functions in Spark. Uh, make sure you tune in next time because I'm going to do a couple of videos uh, where I'm going to cover some of Spark's most, um, well, the best functions in more detail. So we're going to look at um, the market depth replay function and also get familiar with using smart lists. All right, so until then, good luck in the markets and I'll see you next time.